you have all kinds of different types of things that you can focus on. So there are people that focus on bodybuilding and building different kinds of, of looks and appearances and bodybuilding and things like that's generally something along the lines of weightlifting. Yeah, he's like 400, Bubba's, Bubba's really old. Hey Brandy, hey Mr. Hayes, it's good to see you guys on here. So it is fitness week and I don't want it to seem, because I know in class we do a lot of push-ups and sit-ups and things like that, traditional exercises in fitness week, but I don't want it to seem like, you know, that's all it takes. So that that's, that's somehow a portrayal of the embodiment of, of fitness. Now we all talked about how health, when you include health in that, includes diet and a lot of other stuff too. When you're talking about fitness, there's multiple kinds of fitness that you could be, you could be focused on as well. For example, like our regular martial arts classes are gonna be focused on your mobility when it comes to your hips and knees, um, your back mobility, as well as fast twitch muscle strength, explosive strength, in other words and cardio health so it's going to be a lot more stamina and endurance based whereas like in say you took our copperware program like Ms. Chantel does that one is far more endurance based uh, both endurance and stamina and mobility based through the back hips and upper body so it's a little bit more of a strength and toning based level of fitness but you're not going to get the level of uh, cardiovascular, you'll get some cardiovascular exercise to it, but you're not going to get the level, level of cardio exercise that you would get through our other martial arts programs. Or right, you take, uh, we have our teammates checking air, our basic parkour program, and it's more related to the cardio health than it is anything else. All the other techniques are just kind of simple and it's related to overcoming fear and there's all kinds of other aspects. But when you're talking about fitness, it's more closely related to cardio health and mobility than it is anything else. Same when you get into yoga for everybody. So it's mostly related to mobility and stamina, the ability to maintain and hold those positions and poses. That's where you're getting into stamina. Uh, ouch from the dancing. Yeah, I'm sure you are if you went to that seminar yesterday. I skipped a couple where I workshop yesterday. I was feeling a little under the weather. I barely moved. My back was so sore uh, from the one we did. I did on Friday and Saturday that I couldn't I couldn't take yesterday. I kind of dropped, dropped off the face of the earth yesterday because rest is also important. So when you're talking about fitness, just like with anything else, there comes this balance where, you know, you tear up the muscle a little bit and then you got to give it time to heal up. Right. And wherever it heals, it heals and grows stronger than it was before. Same thing as like when you break a bone. Right. So essentially exercise is doing a lot of that in micro forms to the muscles. It's the same thing that a lot of like bare knuckle fighters will do to condition their bones and things that we do as traditional martial artists sometimes to condition the bones causing, especially in advanced class, to do certain things that cause a little bit of pain and it's micro fractures in the knuckles from the impacts and, and in the finger bones. And then as those micro, they'll make your hand sore. Then as those micro fractures heal, then your bones become more dense and able to withstand impacts better. And the same thing happens when you're talking about fitness with your muscles. So you're you're using the muscle and creating micro tears that as they heal back, they heal back thicker, they heal back stronger than they were before. So let's talk about how there's like all these different kinds of fitness that you can focus on. But the key factor to fitness is it's got to be enjoyable. It's got to be fun. If you don't have everything going the same direction, you know, if it's not something that that you're, you, you've got to be going with your, your mind, your body, and your spirit. Everything has to be behind it. Your mindset has to be behind it and everything else for you're not going to put in the time it takes to make the gains, to make any kind of gains when it comes to fitness takes months to years, right? And it takes consistent effort. It's not about working out five days a week. It's about working out once or twice a week, three times a week, and then being able to do that consistently and regularly and almost never miss a workout. Then you get three months, six months, a year later, and that's where you see the obscene re results that you can get from it. And so that's why, you know, fitness uh, can be most easily attained through getting involved in some kind of fun physical activity that you can do. There's not a lot of fun physical activities for parents out there. You can go up into the city and find some basketball programs and stuff like that. But, you know, karate is one of those things that you can do at pretty much any age, depending on what you're, you're looking for out of it. And it's a way that you can stay fit, but your mind's still in it because you have friends involved. You make friends while you're there. You have fun while you're doing it. You gain extra responsibility. There's there's things along the lines that, that keep pushing you through it and, and that causes you to be able to stay with it for a longer period of time. So whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish as a fitness goal will come around. So I don't want anyone oversimplifying this to push-ups and sit-ups because that's what we do during fitness week is we do these little tests of push-ups and sit-ups that's based on the PT test in the military. But don't think that fitness, it's all fitness is about or that because you can 
do that very well that you are fit or because you can't do that very well that you aren't fit because there's lots of different types of fitness like i was saying you've got stamina which is your ability to basically maintain a a strength position you've got endurance which is your ability to repeatedly use a certain level of strength or agility or something over and over and over again um, you've got your cardio which is basically your ability for your breathing and your heart rate to be under control throughout the exertion of the of the energy for longer periods of time and then you've also got your strength aspects your mobility aspects right you got everything from muscle health to, to joint health um and that's one of the things i like about capoeira and and our, our regular martial arts pro, uh, programs is bringing in the extra little tidbits to help you with your joint health with making sure your knees are in alignment you know because most of us were never taught how to walk correctly making sure that we're holding our hips in alignment when we move making sure that we're learning how our hips are actually built to move whether we've ever actually used them that way or not because it can feel awkward and painful the first couple of times you use something in a way it's meant to be used but you've never done it that way right you've never used your body that way and so that's where mobility becomes into factors so pretty much all of our programs have mobility built into them in some way so speaking on this fitness week it's also our stripe test week for our forms so it kind of fits in and we'll have fitness and forms all in the same week it's going to be great it's going to be awesome on all of our training floors uh since it's stripe week and then after that we have we have no uh review weeks at all do we no review weeks so as soon as this week is over we go straight to belt test weeks three weeks of belt test weeks and then we have our rank advancement ceremony which is already up in the app i just put it up in the app like literally 20 minutes ago maybe so it's up in the app now if you go and look into the store in our app you can register for the rank advancement ceremony you do not have to go to it you don't have to attend to it but that's where we do the board breaks and things like that and we do the the big belt ceremony and we do some showcases of the forms with pictures and all kinds of stuff we do our leadership tests there we keep our black belt sharp so there's all kinds of cool stuff that we do at these ceremonies that uh, you'd miss if you missed but anyone who passes the three weeks that gets all the double stripes will get their next belt whether they come to the ceremony or not the ceremony is friends family it's a uh, time to celebrate it's all it really is it's not a test the test is this is coming up in the next three weeks so uh yes Brittany is watching and Brittany is in the background and Brittany is watching Brittany great session is what Mike I, I was actually not watching myself <laughs> surprisingly enough until I flipped over to look at the comments yeah, you you made her look at herself. Now she can't stop looking at herself in the in the background of her own image. <laughs> so that's what we're talking about when it comes to fitness week this week. Now setting a good tone for that fitness can be really really hard, especially with in kids, right? Because kids want to do fun things; they never want to do anything that's hard. So if you can make it fun, and that's why a lot of teachers, a lot of the best teachers, talk about making learning fun. A lot of the best teachers you'll remember when you were a kid probably made learning fun for you. And that's the thing, is when it's fun, it doesn't feel like work. And then that way you can do things because they don't feel like exercises. And in all reality, there are. It's repetitive motions are built into these games and different things that we do. So in all reality, you are doing repetitive motions. You are doing repetitive exercises, but you're doing them in a fun way. that doesn't feel repetitive. You're doing them with, with friends. You're doing them around people who support you. And in that way, it becomes far, far easier to consistently do the workouts. And so the point is, like the beginner class, for example, the workouts aren't that hard in the beginner class, right? I mean, they're pretty easy workouts, really, compared to, say, the advanced class workout. Uh, and yet, at the same time, you know, people make a lot of fitness gains in the beginner classes in the time they're in the beginner classes, which is what, like nine months, nine to 12 months, someone's in the beginner classes? around 12 months, nine to 12 months, someone to be in the beginner classes, but they make good fitness gains. And the point being is those workouts aren't that hard, are they? But even if you're not working out to your full extent and you're not even getting sore and you're not even feeling it, you are gaining as long as you're doing it consistently, right? And then when you get to the point you're doing the ones that leave you sore, like uh, my black belts and my, my level three guys are, then you start to move past the soreness and up to new plateaus and new levels then you're discovering, you know, how fun it can be once you learn how to complete the challenge. So a lot of people just like get fitness goals, but they have no idea how to complete that fitness goal other than the weird jump they see online. And so with no real guidance as to how to complete each one of those goals, 
it becomes difficult to stay connected to it. But once you've had someone lead you through and help you to complete that, like one or two of those first fitness goals, then you start realizing, oh, this is how I beat it. It really is as easy as they say. You really just have to do it consistently. You really just have to target that spot, target that type of workout, target the type of thing that's going to help you in that way. So, um, yeah, if you forget one move in Shea Ohm in level three class, the workout's going to get hard. It's going to get hard. Oh, yo, the belt ceremony is fun unless you forget a move in Shea Ohm. Yeah, yeah, leadership. If, you for, if you're leading a form, a beginner form in the ceremony and you forget a move, ouch, ouch. Mike's still, still uh, mouthing me, by the way. But the point is, is fitness just takes a while. It's not just fitness, but anything you want to do. It takes a while. And you've got to get the mind the body and the spirit behind it. And there's going to be times your mind's not going to want to be behind it. There's going to be times you, your feelings aren't behind it. That's my apparently. I do what I finished this morning. She's going to tear it up, apparently. You've made her angry now. Mike made her angry. Look what you've done. And she's standing behind me. I'm working. I'm over here trying to be innocent, talking about fitness and stuff. And now I got threats coming over my shoulder. I don't even know how to deal with this, Mike. You've done, you've done really played a number on my morning here don't know what's going on. Plus, I missed an appointment this morning that I have to make up at 1230 and then rush back to the school. I don't know. There's all kinds of weirdness going on today. Tahiti. Yeah, Chantel, how about we just take them both out and then me and you go to Tahiti? That sounds like I like instead of the plan y'all had Saturday. No, 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 no. This is a long-standing Tahiti plan. Okay. Right. Um, so it's a long-standing, long-standing, long-standing plan. plan. I don't know. Some inside joke from Capoeira. Anyway, so fitness, it just, it does. It takes a while. You can't expect to do four or five workouts and and get where you're trying to go you can't expect to do it for a month and get where you're trying to go you're not even going to start to notice the gains for three to six months and the first gains that you notice aren't going to be the ones you expected they're not going to be the ones you were after those first gains you're going to notice are going to be something usually a little bit different than what you were expecting maybe you were expecting some kind of visual gain or something like that but instead you just feel better or something anyway that's what i was talking about is you have to get your mind, body, and spirit behind it. That can be really hard and motivationally to get the spirit behind it, especially if you're if you're having a, a really tough week or to get your mind behind it. So the trick to that, honestly, for me, is recognizing and knowing when I'm being lethargic that the thing I need to do, the thing I need to do the most, the one thing that's going to jumpstart me is to go do something fitness related, to go do my forms. Because if you do your forms right, they will wear you out. To go to go for a run, to go lift weights, to go work on capoeira, to go work on flips, to go work on whatever. And it doesn't matter what it is, but it's if you once you get moving, you you start thinking a little less and you start you start tapping into those reserves of energy a little bit better and so you know it just takes time and keeping yourself invested in it involves having your own reason your own why for why you're doing it your own specific plan of of fitness goals and why it is you want to achieve those goals, whether it's for longer life, or maybe you want to look better, or maybe you want to be able to move like some somebody else you see. Maybe you want to be able to move like one of those yoga gurus, or move like one of those capoeira guys, or maybe you just want to be able to kick like one of those uh, TV action guys, or one of the MMA guys, or maybe you just want to be able to, to play tactics or something along those lines. Oh, I got all kinds of weird faces popping up here. I don't know what part of the video they're seeing, but apparently they're sad and angry the sad and angry peoples oh i missed comments that's supposed to be hades code for killing me and living off life insurance money yes i know i know what mike is mike already see mike already knows your plan he already knows yeah you can get winded from doing your forms wrong too especially if i see you do them wrong coach <laughs> 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 tell said it's not code it's it's where we're going to live off the money once we kill you. Oh man. Yeah, working on forms for classes to start. Um, if you do them right, you will, you will. I mean, I, I don't necessarily always break a sweat. Maybe that's my hydration. I don't know, I've always had a difficult time sweating. I think it's the way my body processes things so fast. But getting a little out of breath, getting a good warm up. if you do two or three forms or even just your form two or three times, you do it hard, you do it properly, it will wear you out. It doesn't matter what fitness level you are. That's why forms are really kind of an ultimate thing to be doing during fitness time because when you're really doing your form properly you're expending a lot of energy in short tiny bursts only at the points of contact right and then it teaches you how to be more efficient the more tired you get the more efficient your your use of that muscle becomes and that's really kind of the key 
when you're talking about advanced ranks and black belts is to gain efficiency of the technique, efficiency of the use of the muscle so that you're using them as hard as possible, but use expending as little energy as possible while you do so. And so that's one of the things that, that makes it work, right? Doing forms, plus the cardio health you can gain just from doing forms is absurd. Going through all the colored belt forms front to back is very similar to running about two miles um, and takes about the same amount of time. But you've got to do it hard. You've got to do those deep stances. You've got to do it properly or you're not going to get the benefits. You get out of it what you put into it. It's, it's the same with fitness. But the point is, is you can put a little bit into it, whether it's forms or fitness, a lot less than somebody else does and still get something out of it as long as you keep putting that something into it over a long period of time and that something improves over that time and you put more and more into it over time kind of like investing right then you're still going to get return even if it's less than what other people keep putting in during that same amount of time they're going to get more return but they also may run the risk of burning out faster and quitting and then you can surpass them by coming up through in your slow little way of, of doing things right so it works either way so uh but like i say it's a lot like investing so for an analogy for you it's a lot like investing so a person can invest for small amounts of money right like micro investments micro transactions small amounts of money um that's basically what i do or a person can invest for large amounts of money so a person can invest a lot more money than what i'm investing and we can both invest on a regular basis me a little bit of the time that person a lot of the time now they're going to make gains and losses that are far bigger than mine both their gains and their losses are going to be far bigger than mine because it's all based on percentage right but over time i'm still going to be making gains and losses as well and if my gains are slowly moving in the right direction and they happen to come off at a loss i can still come up at the top you see what i mean even using less money to get to where you're going and the same thing here using less energy to get to where you're going that's muscle efficiency so speaking about fitness using that consistency just making sure you're consistently taking action you're consistently putting something in and as long as you stay in for the long haul, the long road, you play the long game, then you're going to get there. You're going to get successful at it versus a lot of people, maybe the guy who started investing with big chunks of money right off the bat, he makes a couple big wins and he makes a couple big losses and then he gets frustrated and he sells all his investments and starts over and buys into something else, whatever, and he keeps doing that. So he winds up losing, losing, losing. But I just put in my little $5 a month over here, $10 a month or whatever, and over time grow that up, right? Same kind of thing when it comes to fitness, right? You can just put $5 a week in. You can put your little five or five minutes a week or 10 minutes a week or one class a week or one hour a week in. And across 52 weeks, you're gonna gain a certain amount and you are going to gain from that. Um, another person might put in, you know, three classes a week or, or $100 a week or whatever, and they're going, going, going and they make a lot more gains in that time, but they also run the risk of burning themselves out mentally and burning out their, their motivations because everybody runs into a lack of motivation at some point. Uh, even those that make it through that first six months, which is where the, everyone talks about the lack of motivation, there's another point that happens at about a year and a quarter, a year and a half, where there's another lack of motivation point. And then that happens again at about the three year mark or two year, two and a half year mark. And then it happens again at about the four year mark and again at about the five and a half year mark. I mean, it, it does keep happening, though they're farther and farther apart. But those, those lulls, I guess I should say, in motivation, they do keep happening, right? And so that's why it's important to have great teammates around you to help you push you through your workouts. Unless you can find something in you that enjoys it, like something stronger than whatever lethargy that you might come up with, whatever whatever uh, mental obstacle you might have when it comes to staying consistent in your workout. If you've got some kind of motivator that can exceed that, that is more important to you than how tired you are right now. If you have some kind of motivator that is more important to you than how bad you hurt in the moment, then you know, you're also going to be able to make it farther. And that's the only way to make it uh, to, through, through your fitness goals when you're on your own is being motivated by something that motivates you more than being tired motivates you to sit down or motivates you more than being busy motivates you to look for free time, right? So if you have a strong motivation, you can do it on your own, but either way it helps to have to have a lot of teammates that you that you stay in shape with that you move around with 
And like I said in the beginning of this video, we have different programs for different types of fitness, like our regular martial arts programs focus on uh, mobility, hip strength, a lot of hip strength and cardio. Uh, there's some upper body strength too, but Capoeira's main focus is upper body strength, stamina and endurance, hip strength, stamina and endurance, but not near as much cardio. Parkour is more cardio and technique and flash, but it's far less strength, right? It's far less strength and endurance and far more just stamina and cardio. So lots of different types of workouts, depending on the type of fitness that you want to have. Same kind of thing a bodybuilder ask or a personal trainer ask when you first start working with them. They say, what kind of body do you want? What do you want to look like? Like, what, where, where do you want your strength points to be? Those are usually some of their first questions so they can design the workouts to build what it is that you want to look like. And so fitness is no different. What kind of fitness do you want to have? Do you want to have more energy? Do you want to have better better heart health? Do you want to just be stronger? Do you want to look better? Do you want to be able to move better? Do you want to be more graceful? Do you want to be more balanced? Do you want, you know, that, that goes into mobility. And that would be like the best way I would say if you're having trouble picking a program to do or just do multiple programs. We have plenty of students to do multiple programs ours. Anyway, don't forget, we also have a contest going on right now. If you get a top fan badge, top commenter badge or anything like that, each month that you maintain it, because you can lose that badge, each month that you maintain it, so mark it in the calendar, because trust me, I've been marking when you send us some, send us the screenshots. But every month that you maintained it, send us a screenshot of your name with the badge next to it or something like that, and you can get $10 cash or a $10 credit to your to your dues if you're a member. If you're not a member, it's $10 cash. It's your choice either way. Even if you're a member, you can take the cash if you want. Each month that you maintain a top fan or top commenter badge. So according to Google and Facebook, the way that you get those is by commenting, sharing, and watching videos. So just comment, share, and watch videos on our page and, and, and you should earn those badges in no time. I don't know why Tasha hasn't got one. Apparently Facebook thinks Tasha's stalking us, which is weird because Shirley shares a lot more than Tasha does. So I don't know. I don't know why Facebook thing is all that. Anyway, wait, walls? What happened? Stupid walls and their stupid wall faces. What's my talking about now? Something about walls? I missed it. Tahiti's more of a battle cry. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna give up right there. I've got work to do, and I missed that appointment. And I've got to, I've got to make that appointment. It's, it's an hour. It's, it's, it's in an hour, and it's like 30 minutes away. So I got to get off here so I can get some work done. But it's been great chatting with y'all this morning about the different types of fitness and fitness week. Hope you guys enjoy fitness week. I know on my floor we're gonna mix things up a little bit. We're not gonna do your traditional style of fitness week stuff, especially since we're doing forms tests at the same time. I'm going to do something, uh, but I'm, I'm not doing fitness forms or any of the classic stuff. You just have to come in and see. If you've never seen one of the form stripe tests on my floor yet, it's a little bit of a different type of fitness that we work on, but it will definitely burn you out. But the more you burn out those muscles, then give them time to heal, the stronger they become, the, the thicker they become. And when I say thicker, I don't necessarily mean mass, right? Muscle mass. What I'm talking about is the strands themselves become thicker, which makes them, makes them stronger overall. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off here until I see the wall you hit when it comes to motivation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do. You know, that is a, that is a nasty wall and, and, it, and it will hit and it hits often and it, and it won't stop hitting. The trick is, like I say, either having a motivator that is stronger than those obstacles you hit, something that's bigger than than those mental and spiritual obstacles or having somebody who holds you or something that you feel responsible to that holds you accountable. And that's why when we get to the level three classes, someone gets to the advanced strengths and they start having to do the harder workouts. One of the reasons that they also get more responsibilities around that time, especially in the level two classes and things like that. So it gives that sense of responsibility to uh, be a good role model and it allows them to manage to continue to hold themselves, you know, accountable even when they may not necessarily feel like or do they fall into a lull, right? So how many people have you been and seen witness that through the advanced strengths? And so they gain the more responsibility though, and it'll help them push through that wall of motivation, help them push through that lull because they feel like they kind of owe it to whether they feel like they owe it to the school or they owe it to the beginner students or they owe it to the, the, the students that they help out in class or whatever it is. But it often helps push through those times of not wanting to go to class, those times of lethargy, those times of not, not wanting to, to, to do anything, even though you know that's what's going to ultimately make you feel better. So that's my speech when it comes to fitness for Monday. I'll see if I can come up with a couple more through the end of the week. Till I see you again. 
account member again. Until I see you again, be the best teammate you can be. Be the best at being you.